How do you deal with in-laws? Besides killing them? <sighs> when it comes to dealing with in-laws, I think we can spend like an hour talking about this. Because there's so many different scenarios. Mm. Example, in North America, if you don't live together, that's a story. If you actually live together, like Asian family, we actually live with our in-law. That's a different story. But we, we, ch we chose to live uh, with our uh, in-law. That's why we got this big home, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the very first one. I think when you're dealing with in-law, that when... And you understand when you marry someone, mm -hmm. the son or the daughter, you have to come from their perspective. You have to understand, they have spent 10, 15, 20 years spending so much effort nurturing this person from baby now to teenage year to now an adult. Put all their love, love and attention. To him. And oh, now geez. when you get married, you're going to kind of take that person away from them. Mm. You got to start from that place. You got to understand. So if it's a daughter, the baby daughter, oh my God, right? <laughs> So I think first, you got to give the, your in-law the comfort that they are making the right decision of handing over the daughter or the son to you. Vice versa, even the son where, okay, now I'm going to let you, the son, marry to this, this lady. Mm -hmm. And is this woman going to take care of my son? Exactly. Is this woman gonna, going to support my son no matter what? It's the same worry, right? Man and woman is the same. So I think you need to give them a comfort, kind of compliment them about how good or how good their son and daughter is, mm. right? And you know what? I, I love her so much. Um, I will cherish him or mm. her, right? I will take care of them. Good or bad, we'll be together. We're going to face challenges, but I think we can overcome together. I think they need to have that keep peace of mind. What do you think? Yeah, I think for dad, what they're looking for, let's say if a dad has a daughter, mm. we're looking for from the other guys, can you protect my daughter yeah. like I did, mm. right? And then if Can you care for her like I did? Exactly. Mm. Can you protect for her whole life and make sure she's happy and always put a smile on her, those mm. kind of things. Make her That's happy. what dad is looking yeah. for. Yeah. Let's say for a mom, let's say mom has a son, then the mom is thinking, can you take care of my son like I did? Can you treat mm. him like I did? Can you maybe just thinking he just is always my little boy, but can you treat him the way I did? Always caring about mm. him. Those are very, very important to them. Mm. And if in some cases, it may be uh, before you get married, after you get married, you feel like, how come my in-law doesn't trust me? Mm. Right? How come they don't trust me? I said, to, don't worry, I'm going to take care of your daughter, I'm going to take your son, but how come they still don't trust me? Mm. Well, I say it's not their problem. Chances are it's your problem. You haven't given them the confidence, right? Maybe you're weak and I need it, right? You, they, I don't know if you can actually protect my son. I don't know if you can protect my daughter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can give the life or the life that he or she deserves. Doesn't matter where you are. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the, the security of knowing that you, you, you're going to take care of them. You're going to take care of my little boy, little girl. I think that's very, very key. Mm -hmm. So compliment making sure that they're making the right decision for like let you marry their son and daughter. I think that's very key. Yes. The second thing, and this is more com coming from a Chinese background, mm. where when we after we get married, I would say treat your in-law like just your mom and dad. Actually treat them like your parents because now you're together as one unit, as one family. So when I, like with Jenny's mom and dad, right? I call them mom and dad, yes. right? Mom and dad. Uh, mm. With my, my mom, my, same thing, Jenny calls my mom, mom. It, mm. It's the same. So once you get married, they are your, your father and mother. Uh, they should treat them with respect, right? Respect them and, and, tr and communicate the way they want to be communicated to. Because at the end of the day, I think in the, in the Chinese culture, we respect the elders, the, yes. the, 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 the older, right? Senior the family, seniors, the family. right? Yes. We, we respect that. That's kind of in our culture. That's what we do. Uh, and that's why living together. When we got this place, before we were living in a penthouse, and why we decided to move to a, a bigger home now, 4,300 square feet, six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, right? Why we moved to this place, one of the big, uh, big major reasons was so that we could live together as a family with my in-law, right? And it's great. I mean, we live in a sa under the same roof. We don't argue, we don't, it's great, right? And we can spend time, because we are so busy that if, I know we, if we don't live together, chances are that we won't see them a lot. Mm. 
right? Because we've got so much going on. But at home, at least, hey, when we come home, when we're working, yeah. we see each other, right? We, we're here, yeah. right? And third point, and a very, very important point is... You gotta compliment your spouse or partner in front of their parents. Yes. Compliment your partner so that, again, it gives them that comfort. It gives them that the idea of, oh yeah, you know, you, you, you value my daughter, yes. you, you value my son. Yes. Right? Sometimes I would say in front of uh, dance mom, which is my in-laws, I would say, thank you mom for uh, raising this good son, good husband to me, and mm. really appreciate it, and she will feel so happy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one thing I've learned in any household, uh, that is, there could only be one leader in mm. any household. So, as we, I think as daughter and son at first, maybe your the, the in-law, the father-in-law, mother-in-law, depends, uh, is the leader in the household. But as they grow older, I think you need to step up and own that leadership, right? And take that leadership role uh, as the husband, as the wife, and say, this is how things are. You don't just always want to obey. Lead, don't just obey. Lead, don't just obey. You gotta lead. You got to lead from the front. You got to lead the family and say, this is where the family is going. This is the direction. And I find that that's kind of what happens after mm -hmm. we got married, moved to the same place. Although, of course, I respect my in-law, but really then a lot of major decisions I make and I'm the leader of the family, right? And that actually reduces argument. That's why we don't argue, mm -hmm. right? And, and not just I lead, but I also you know, I need to earn the respect. That I, I make the business or make the right decisions. I always put the family's interests ahead yes. of myself. I always think of the family. I always try to put do my very best to protect the family. After you've demonstrated that again and again and again and again, you've earned the trust. Then it's like okay, now you can lead. It's not just say oh I want to lead the family. I want to be the boss. I want to make all the decisions. You don't just say it. You do it. You demonstrate through your actions that you are worthy of being a leader, that they could follow you and they could trust you. Because it's not just now the daughter, it's them trusting you with everything, right? And that's what I'm talking about. When you can get to that place, I think, with your in-law, and that's why the title is not so much in this video, because people think, of how do I deal with my in-law, <laughs> right? It's like, it's a problem, mm. it's an issue. Well, if you start with that kind of mentality, I don't think that's very healthy, right? Maybe how to communicate with them. How properly, to communicate yeah. with my in-law, right? How to prosper mm -hmm. with my in-law, right? How to live as a family, not just how do I deal with them. Yeah. Yeah. How do I they are part of your family. They are part of your family. When the, the day that you choose to marry the, the husband or the wife, now you become a family. You cannot just say, I just want a daughter, I just want a son, but I don't want your family. Well, when you choose to marry that person, you kind of take that on, good or bad, good or bad. That's why choosing the right partner is critical. And on the other videos, you can click on the I button. We talked about how to find that perfect partner. We're not going to talk about that today, but finding that perfect partner, the right partner to start off with, very, very critical, very, very critical, critical. So comment below and let us know how you deal with your in-law, how you deal with it, how you communicate to your, How you show your love to, to your, your in-law. In How do you show your respect? How do you lead the family? Comment below. Or if you have any other questions when it comes to dealing with in-law, maybe maybe your in-laws are very strong. They are like very successful and they are not easy to communicate to. How do you deal with that? Maybe we'll make a future episode on that. But comment below if you want us to go a little bit deeper about this issue, because I think people with in-law from all over the world, you have different issue. Comment below and let us know Hit the subscribe button right there, turn on the bell, turn on notifications so every time we release a new video, you will get notified so you won't miss anything. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up and check out our other video on the right side, right there, right there. And until next time, be, remember behind every successful man, there is a smarter woman and a lovely in-law family. Love your in-law.